Hey y'all, I'm back. That was a, uh, yeah, that was an appointment I didn't really want to deal with, just going to say, but I actually got some good information from it. So I feel like with me saying crap like this, it's basically telling that, telling you or whatever, whoever, that um, there are things that we don't want to deal with. There are things that we don't want to face, you know what I mean? And... <laughs> We just got to do it. Just get it fucking done. It, with the whole like, you know, this reading didn't upload. It was processing error gone. And then all of a sudden we're processing and uploading again. And things are moving faster. It's like once we throw that shit out, things will progress a lot faster. I feel like somebody's doing that right now. It's like, ugh, I didn't want to fucking do this, but I know I have to. And I said to be continued. So it's like the cliffhanger. Okay, we disconnected from our person's energy. Um, they're feeling that. That's the fucking tower moment right there for you or them or both of you. Because I kind of feel like it affects both of you. Because it's like, I can't feel you. Where'd you go? Oh my gosh. That type of shit. So, I kind of feel like it's not over. You might think it's over, but it's not. To be continued. Okay. And I was talking about feels and shit. So someone needs to get in their feelings. And it's funny. This is coming out really quickly when I put the crystal over the damn cat card. Oh, by the way. Okay. I don't want to lose this. When it comes to the cat, some of you are legit looking at your cat like, what the hell? I feel like the cat is representing a person, a karmic person. Your karmic is watching you, is paying attention, which is why you're going this, that, this, that, shit like that. So... When I say things, listen to the side things that I say. Listen to the, the metaphors, the, the symbolism in it all. Because the cat's representing an actual motherfucking person, okay? It's not... I don't know. Spirit sends us messages in fucked up fucking ways. You know what I mean? For crying out loud, we have rats, okay? They're caged up, yeah. My daughter thought... Thought that they were both girls, and then one grew a nut sack, and I was like, huh, masculine, feminine energy kind of, he did the switch up, basically, or she did something like that, so someone's taking charge, but anyways, rats have huge nuts, it's fucked up. <laughs> what am I talking about? Anyways, I don't care about that. They don't freak me out, they used to, I used to be so fucking afraid of rats, like, or mice, and it's like, oh my god, I mean, you hear me, I'm like, that's a mouse, well, they're wild, I don't want them, they got... They got gross crap. I don't want any of that shit. So be careful of STDs. Don't sleep around because you never know. Just be careful with that because for some reason that made me think of that. So anyways, um, back to the rats. So yeah, they had babies and now we have 12 motherfucking rats and we can't get rid of them all. So we have a girl cage and a boy cage kind of thing. But anyways, they don't freak me out. I don't know why the fuck I'm talking about them. Oh, cause when I was in this meeting doing this processing thing, my daughter had, you know, the, the male rat, the, the dad, we call him Salt. Huh, that's funny. Anyways, because um, I was talking about Salt, taking a Salt bath. So maybe the masculine energy in this situation really does need a Salt scrub, you know. Get by Salt water, something. Gargle Salt water. Some of you having, like, throat issues, allergies, not feeling well, that will help. Um, it clears out bacteria. Yeah, it's cleansing. We need a cleansing Anyways, um, she had him on her shoulder and I'm in the middle talking, like talking to the teachers and the school and crap on the stupid zoom thing, which by the way, I did not know how to do. And the audio was all fucked up. We had to reroute shit. Yeah, that's what the tower is. That's why there's a disconnect. It's like the audio is fucked up. Once we clean out the shit, we'll have clear communication. Gotcha. Anyways, um, but he scared me. I'm like, Oh, like what the hell? Like, I didn't even see you there. There's a rat among you. Just gonna say, I told you. Karmics are watching you, for one. But they have a spy. So, I just heard Inspector Gadget. <laughs> so, I don't know what that means to you. But the show, you know, he's... He fucks a lot of shit up. But he always figures it out in the end. Something like that. So, anyways someone's watching you and I feel like because we got creeper creepers in you know um because I kind of I felt like there was two people and I don't feel like that's just for me I do feel like I got you know I got going on but 
Um, okay, don't don't get me all nervous again because I get panic attacks. Like I get really panicky, like worked up when I think about this energy. So this energy is very intense, okay? This person is very intense. They're very persistent. It's like I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. That whole I'm creeping up on you and now you're mine bullshit. Yeah, no, don't let the creeper show show up. Don't fear the reaper. I just popped in my head again. Don't fear death. Don't fear ending a situation. Look that motherfucker in the eye and be like, I'll beat you over the head with a bat kind of thing. It's probably why my head fucking hurt. <sighs> Maybe it's a metaphor. I hope so because I, I don't condone violence. But anyways, um, I do feel like your person gets fired up really easily. Or you do. Someone in this situation is thinking about the creeper. I don't know if they're worried or if they're pissed off about it. Like I'm gonna kill this MF, you know. I feel something like that. Okay, go away. I don't want. I don't want that. Um, maybe that's what you're saying to some of these people. Like go away. I don't want that. Anywho, where the fuck was I going with that? There's a rat. Somebody's figuring out who's on their side and who's not. Cause I'm getting that soldier analogy again, where it's like crossing enemy lines. You were fighting for the wrong team, for the wrong side, and now you see who's on your side and who's not. Okay, anyways. So, I use the Halloween deck, and I'm not going to... You know, even though I don't always pull cards in my stories, like, some people are like, oh, you just want to sit here and talk about yourself. No, that's not what that's about. There are messages in there, and if you don't understand it, we're on different journeys. Maybe later. But what's weird is, I don't ever use this deck. I don't know where the fuck the box went, but... Oh, Tarot of Dreams. There it is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is someone spying on you in your fucking dreams or something? No, your dreams have meaning. Someone's not paying attention to their dreams because they think they're fucked up. Like, okay, even the weirdest, craziest dreams, they have meaning. It's the symbolism in it all. It's not... Dreams are very... Yeah, that's what this is. My head's not hurting as bad. Dreams, it's like you get impressions. Okay, well, this explains my story time. Like, you know, having you guys understand or relate to situations I've been through. Like when Spirit said to me, you know, um, you're going to help many through your past experiences, which I'm, I'm seeing this now, but I didn't fucking see it then. But anyways, and that's kind of what's going on here with the dreams. It's almost like reflecting back to a dream. Or if you... The dreams that are vivid or that you remember, even if you don't remember the whole motherfucking thing, okay? They all have... They all mean something in this journey or in your life. There's something you need to work through, refocus on, think about whatever. Um... funny because I did have a dream and the cat puked everywhere and I was like and I remember stepping in and it felt real and I was like eh, what the hell and then I saw he has a motherfucking cat here okay so this karmic person whoever it is to you this, this dream was a minute ago but it didn't make no fucking sense to me now it does well maybe I don't know we'll figure it out I get panicky every time I look at this damn cat um puked everywhere it's almost like this person's verbal diarrhea it's like they're trying they're putting this person's immersing themselves in your life somehow okay so if you share social media with them they're liking all your shit they're posting shit to your timeline or sharing shit or I don't know they're just like they're always there they're always there they're always there they're always around so this person is basically see it's trying it's almost like when a dog pees on shit it's like marking your territory this person's marking their territory okay but you're not their territory like I said persistence okay whoever the hell that is to you I mean, whatever. Try to stop it if you can. I'm just going to say. But the black cat says fortune meets opportunity. But before, they don't want you to have a new opportunity. They do not want you to succeed. They do not want you to move on and have a better fucking life than them. I'm getting fired up now. This person's angry. They have a lot of anger. Like, uh-uh. You're mine. Like, that's what I feel like. How dare you? How dare you move on? How dare you smile? How dare you? Who the fuck is 
this. We're going to look into that. Bye, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, because that's what I was getting ready to tell you what was leading up to this fortune meets opportunity. Where there's new opportunities, there's new love, there's new experiences, there's just all this beautiful shit coming in, okay? No matter what your sign is, because I see like, make it rain, bitch. You know, make it rain. We got monies. Oh, we got comforts. We got love. We got whatever. We're releasing the stress. This person is stressful. I'm just going to say. They're giving me a fucking headache. They might be giving you a fucking headache too. Whoever the headache is, take your damn ibuprofen, Tylenol, whatever, Excedrin, and get the... Put their boot up your... Your boot up their ass or whatever. Maybe your person wants to put their boot up this person's ass. Maybe you both do. I don't know. But anyways, it's still trying to get me to not say this. We have the skull of light illumination. You're figuring this shit out, for one. You're figuring out who this fucking spy karmic bullshit person is to you. Why you're so fucked up in the head. Because we're some... <sighs> Ow. No. Oh, that fucking hurts. Ugh, I feel like I just got stabbed in the chest. They're trying to hurt you. Okay. Someone needs to put the fucking knife down. 11 minutes. Okay. I feel like they... Oh, my God. I almost feel like... Because they're hurting, they're saying or doing something that's going to hurt your person or try to hurt the connection. Like I said, karmics can create setbacks, but they can't disconnect the two of you. Someone broke free and that person, the other person that they're free from basically is trying to cut the fucking string, cord cutting. It ain't going to happen. Good luck. Salt, salt. Protect your person with the fucking salt. If you have a picture of them, or think of them in your head when you're doing it. I mean, you don't have to do the ritualistic shit. It depends on your journey and how you roll. But we're talking about witches and shit. And if you're dealing with magic, which I feel like some of you are, um, line your motherfucking house with it for one. But think of your person. Do a little thing like the little white witch shit, you know. You know, sprinkle salt around them, basically. Or ha tell them to do it something. I don't know. But anyways, um... It'll help protect your energy so that you can push this karmic person's karmic situation away. Uh, this person's obsessed with you, okay? I'm just going to say, and I feel like there's more than one who's obsessed with you or your person, vice versa, whatever. They're trying to keep you in the dark because I feel like one of you, actually, I feel like both of you are ascending. Both of you are waking up to this connection and going, holy shit, like, I didn't know this could happen. I did not know that I could feel this way. I did not know... You're, it's unconditional loving love and it's um you're you're helping this person raise their vibration or vice versa i feel like you're helping each other in a fucked up kind of way because we kind of have the dark and the light here so it's like because you're illuminated you're getting them to see this as an opportunity because now i'm looking at the cat as something good okay there's multiple messages in here but whatever um you're opening somebody's eyes or they're opening yours, vice versa, whatever. So we do have a very intuitive individual here. I feel like both of you are intuitive because this is spiritual too. Like I said, cats are like half in. They're between worlds. And I was talking about time travel and all that shit in my past lives and whatnot. Um, so I do feel like that's part of all of this. Um, now I'm seeing these eyes right here as the owl, even though they're cat eyes. Because I, I was thinking of the owl's golden you know, their piercing eyes, like they see everything, they feel everything, they're illuminated or becoming illuminated. So I feel like with the fact that either you or your person, whoever this owl is, which I did see them in Scorpio, I just want to let you know, but um, that's not the case for all of you because multiple signs are enlightened as shit, just going to say. But anyways, <coughs> um, the owl... <coughs> sees everything they see what's going on they're decoding shit it's like okay that was like i see this opportunity and i'm not gonna let this stupid cat the stupid rat this whatever fuck it up for me basically so it's like clearing your own energy clearing out any confusion and recentering yourself meditate 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 
is going to help open this person's eyes to the connection. And I feel like it is because there's like kind of smog is what I'm seeing back here. I think it's something else, but kind of looks like being fogged up. It's like open your eyes. It's like trying to see through the blind spots, trying to see through like cheesecloth, you know, when somebody puts a blindfold on you and you can kind of see, so you're not going to run into shit, but it's not, I almost feel like they were completely blind before, but they're slowly like the lights peeking through so they can, they're like, okay, there's something over there. Oh, it's coming in clearer. It's coming in clearer. So it's like a fucking TV with an antenna. It's finally coming in clearer, clearer, clearer. Or radio, you know, static, white noise. And all of a sudden you start hearing the music kind of thing. We're upgrading our TVs, basically. Keep going back to fucking TVs and TV shows and fucking movies and shit. Like, I feel like that helps somebody relate. Um... Some of you could really benefit from writing in a journal. I feel like you need to get your feelings out in a journal. And if you don't want anyone to read it, write it and burn it. Send it off to the universe, especially if it's a negative thing. Be like, okay, I got to get these negative emotions out. Blah, 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 blah. Reread it. Okay, got it. Burn it. Bye. You know, shit like that. Um, but I also feel like... Cause I keep talking about writing and I keep talking about automatic writing and I feel like a lot of you actually have that gift. I feel like a lot of people have the potential to do it and they do it, but they just don't see it that, that way. Do you know what I mean? Um, cause I didn't always see it that way either. So that's why I think that's coming up, but don't think about it. Put pen to paper and write down whatever the fuck comes out, even if it sounds ridiculous, even if the sentence doesn't make any sense, because when you're first starting, doing this it's your higher self speaking to you basically sometimes it can be spirit or other people but when you're starting usually it's your higher self your guides whatever because you're very new to things so they're helping you through process through this shit basically but it might it will feel like it's coming from you okay i'll feel like it's your own damn thoughts and you'll just be like well i have a lot of weird ass thoughts you know just go with it and then reread it and then put it away and read it again later. I'm telling you. You're going to find out information about you or your person or both of you through that. Um, because a lot of the information that, we, that we're seeking, we find within ourselves. And a lot of readers say that, not just me. And it's true. We interpret the information that we receive from outside sources for one. And we only pick what resonates because that has to do with us does it nothing to do with anybody else you know what I mean so all the information that we're receiving from the outside we're kind of absorbing like a sponge and then we gotta weed through it not for me yes for me not for me yes for me you know what I mean I just heard he loves me loves me not he loves me loves me not um it's kind of a back and forth and it creates confusion when you got all this shit coming in so the writing in a journal privately I almost feel like it's going to help you process through your own journey your own shit and even with your person, okay? That's what I feel with that. Halloween, for some reason, because I wanted the Halloween deck, but... All right, so let's see. What do we got? Ace of motherfucking cups. There's love here, man. And a new beginning with the fool. And the motherfucking nine of cups. Hell yeah. And then we want to push through. Someone's thinking, for the new damn beginning. But it's hard. with the, You're my sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Blah, 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 blah. Someone has kids or they want them. It's probably coming in the future with your person. Anyways, which way does this go? How do I do this? Which way does this go? Which way do I go? That's what I feel. All right, I remember. It's all coming back to me now, actually. You know, I thought we were going to do it this way, but I guess we're doing it this way. Listen to the side shit that I say. So there's been a change. There's been the motherfucking tower. Okay. Illumin yeah, that's how that is. This is fucking good. I did. I know I don't like to name names. Well, signs. But I see grapes. That's not a sign. Well, it might be a sign. Oh, my God. 
I did the charm reading. Oh, that was in the reading that didn't upload. What the fuck did I say about the grapes there? I'm thinking of wine. What's that song? Dust on the bottle. Like, <sighs> you get sweeter with time. The, the fucking, I don't know, it's a country song. Wine gets sweeter with time. It gets better with time. Like, take your time. Someone, this is taking fucking forever, okay? But I feel like somebody's, like, lightening up, sweetening up to it. Like, I'm realizing that the dusty treasure chest. Oh, fucking jeez, now it's a wine bottle. Anyways, <laughs> you get sweeter with time. You get better with time. Things get better with time. So it's like someone does need time, or they did need time, and now is the time kind of thing, like, dusting off the bottle. <sighs> I'm going to try this bitch out. Like, that's what I feel like. Mm, okay, I need a piece of you. I want to ta I want to taste you. Mm, sensual. I'm not thinking just sexual because there's sexual energy here, but it's more than that. It's more than that. So don't think this person just wants to get in your fucking pants because that is not what it is. Anywho, um, <laughs> I'm telling you, the shit that comes into my fucking head is weird. So, <laughs> sweeter with time, I'm dusting off the bottle. Because I want a piece of you. I want to try this. Sh I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to give this a fucking shot. Which is what this new beginning is. Because there's love here. We got two aces. And we have a risk. And this fool energy is like taking that leap of faith. Someone said something, did something, made a move, whatever. Took a left turn. Um, it's like, I know I need to be, I know I'm on the right road, but you know, this road's going on forever and there's no, my headlights ain't working. So, uh, I got to turn the fuck around. It's almost like a haunted road and you're like creeped out. Like, okay, my headlights are fucking up. Who's out here? I can't see you. So fuck it. Turn around, I'm getting the hell out of here. You know, listen to too many ghost stories. Listen to fucking karmic, listen to the opinions. So they're like, I don't want to listen to this. I'm heading down this old back road down to the karmic bullshit that's just like, whoa, this is not for me. Like, you know, I backtracked. So I feel like your person is uh, turning the F around because they had some aha moments that, you know, their car's going to break down. They're going to be left alone with this crazy ass motherfucker. And they're like, uh-uh, I don't want to fucking be down here. I want to go this, I want to go this way. It's going to stress the karmic out. I do feel like it stresses your person out or you out, vice versa, whatever, or both of you. Um... Because it's scary, you know, when you got to be vulnerable and open up, it's fucking terrifying, but it is what it is. Do you want to be happy or not, you know? Um, this person might like to drink wine, or they just recently started drinking wine again, or period, or they want to. Maybe wine tasting? I don't know why I'm getting that. I don't know, it's like a change. I'm, oh, I'm used to beer. Why the fuck am I saying that some of you like to drink, or your person does? I'm so used to beer, but beer's like liquid bread, okay? It makes your ass fat, for one. It makes you burp. It makes you feel... I mean, it tastes good. I'm not going to lie. Bread's fucking amazing, too. Like, mm-hmm, carbs. But it's almost like, oh, I love this beer. I love drinking beer, but, oh, I got to switch to light beer because this fucking shit... You know, it's making me feel shitty. It's making my pants not fit right. It's, you know, it's fucking me up in some capacity. I don't like the way it's making me feel. Maybe it gives you the shits. Who knows? So it's like your body's going, uh-uh. Reject that. Get rid of this. Stop, stop, stop. So they're switching to wine. It's like, oh, even though I've always loved beer, I want to taste the wine. It's something that someone's been sitting on for a minute. Like, I wasn't looking at you. I wasn't. I wasn't looking at you. I didn't know you were there. I didn't know you were hidden in the cellar. You know? I didn't realize it. Ooh, I realize it now. Now I want to try wine. Anyways, I don't know what the fuck that means to you. Maybe it'll make sense. I have fucked up analogies. Remember that. Because the one reading, I was talking about someone being your real bacon. Like, you've always had turkey bacon. So it's all you knew. And then you experience real bacon. And you're like, holy shit, hot damn didn't realize what I was missing kind of thing. So there's a switch up like I keep talking about. But oh, what the fuck was I talking about? I don't know. Anyways, I'm down there my headlights ain't working. Well, you're gonna the headlights are turning on. I'm just saying you're bright and fucking beaming. Someone said something or did something or I don't know. Someone's Someone's getting fired up for this after a long time of <coughs> 
stagnancy of driving down that haunted ass fucking road. Okay, I don't want to know. Just stop. Fucking give me a damn headache. Stop overthinking shit. That's what someone was doing. That's what's on the haunted road. Is just... <sighs> like, I feel like I'm just being beat down. Like, I can't deal with this. It's just the same shit. Over and over and over and over. It's being stuck in the damn swimming pool, you know, with a stupid siren. It's like, I got sucked into this shit again. Like, what the fuck? You know, when you're, somebody likes cars. You know, when you're driving down the road and you're going really fast. Because I feel like whoever I'm talking to, either you or your person, really likes to drive fast. Um, slow the motherfuck down. Just saying. You know, we don't want nothing bad to happen. Because this analogy is kind of cray cray. Anyways, I uh, hope it's not drunk driving. If it is. Smart the fuck up. But anyways, um, this person, I just, I see this truck, a fucking truck. It could be a car, but I see a truck. It's driving really fast down the, these back roads. They, you know, there's a street light here and there or whatever, but it's not a main road. It's not a highway. It's a back road. And it is kind of windy, okay? So this could be a literal place. Like, you've got to go down a windy road to get to this person's house kind of thing. Or it's been a fucking windy road. There's just a corner here, corner there. And you're just kind of like, oh, I can't. Oh, I made it. Oh, okay. Well, I feel like if that's the case, I'm speeding down the road. If there's sand and shit, which is can be bad with motorcycles too, it can be deadly with motorcycles. It can be deadly with cars too. But you got you got protection. Okay, you're protected by the truck. So I feel like someone was driving too fast down the wrong motherfucking way. Basically, they either hit black ice or they fucking hit sand, and they got sucked into the ditch, and they're trying to get out, and it's like, oh, this is too hard. So they're like gunning it, like trying, and what they didn't realize is. They shouldn't be going faster in the, in the muck. They need to stop, process, and like look at the situation and go, should I call the tow truck or can I pull my ass out? Will my buddy get me out of here? Maybe friends will help you. Maybe they have been. Um, there is a snake in the grass. Be careful. Because um, I almost feel like you might call a friend for the help and they'll hook up the winch or something and it'll fucking snap and smack you in the face. So be careful with that. I don't know if that makes sense to you. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But anyways, instead of speeding through the bullshit, you need to stop and reflect. Okay, well, who can I trust? Who's going to really help me? Who's going to be there for me when my truck is in the fucking ditch? Do you know what I mean? And it's kind of funny because with the whole turnaround analogy, I was thinking of black ice. And this happened to me, but it's making me think of something completely different. Um, I was in a truck and there was no weight in the back. And if, you know, if you live in a state or a place where it's cold, you get black ice and shit like that. That'll fuck your day up, just saying. Um, I feel like the tower fucked someone's day up and made them kind of sad. Because I'm thinking of rain and tears and whatever. And it's creating this ice because we're in this cold motherfucking environment. So everything that rains down freezes. Well, you need to bring in the motherfucking sun, which is this wine let's get away from the beer and start drinking wine not condoning drinking i'm just saying it's an analogy it's a metaphor anyways i was dry i was on a highway so i'm driving fast well i wasn't really driving fast because there was this caution speed thing was like slow down you know so if, if, if it's originally 70 miles an hour and i'm living life in the fast lane basically i'm just like whoosh, cruising down the road just going the wrong motherfucking way though which i didn't know but i was just cruising through it all of a sudden, it's like this tower. The universe is like, hey, slow down. Slow down. You know, you're not seeing something. There's something up ahead. Slow down. And it's like, oh, I don't care. You know, like, but I do feel, I did slow down. So it's like, okay, there's something up ahead. What is it? What's coming? I feel something's coming. The tower moment, basically. Whatever that is to you is different for all of us. Within this connection, because this is a love reading. But it is also self-empowerment. But anyways, um... Yeah, so it's like, you got the signal. It's like, okay, something's coming. What the fuck is coming? I feel it. And then all of a sudden, the motherfucking tower comes in. The bomb goes off. You're, and the fucking truck, this is what happened to me. I hit black ice, and I started going like this. I started fishtailing. I'm like, oh, gosh, this doesn't feel good. This, uh, like, it was scary because it's like, this hit me out of nowhere. I don't know what to do. Like, And then I corrected myself, and I was still going on the wrong fucking way, basically. Well... Yeah, in this analogy, it was the wrong way. Well, it was the wrong way, actually, in that situation, too. Because I never should have followed that motherfucker up there. But anyways, 
<sighs> story for another day. Shut up, Jessica. I just keep fucking moving on with the story. So anyways, it's like, ooh, I don't know. And then I corrected myself and I was like, okay. So I'm going slower and I'm looking around like, okay, is it going to happen again? Like, <sighs> so it was almost like a, a mini tower. And then the motherfucking tower because it fucking happened again. And guess what? It didn't, I didn't fishtail. I just went, whoo, and the truck just started spinning. And I was like, fuck my life. Like, this is going to fuck everything up. It could end my life. You know, I was terrified. I didn't want to turn around. Turn around. Anyways, I didn't want to turn around. And I was forced to fucking turn around, basically. I was forced to walk away from the karmic situation to go towards my person is what I'm getting at. But the truck kept spinning, and I remember, I'm like, well, there ain't nothing I can do. The universe is doing it. Like, it's out of my it's out of my hands. It's out of my control. You know, I did what it did. It is what it is kind of thing. So I knocked the truck into neutral, and you never slam on the brakes on ice because you're just going to keep motherfucking going. And if you put it... it this is good advice for people who drive in shit weather too. So if you get, um, if you're on ice and you go out of control, never slam on the brakes cause you'll just go poof, right into the pucker brush for one, put, knock it into neutral cause it stops your engine from pushing the vehicle forward. So you're just kind of floating. So I feel like someone's free falling right now. Free falling. Anyways, there's a song. Um, so, yeah, I just closed my eyes and I'm like, well, whatever fucking happens, happens. So have faith. Whatever happens, happens, whether your person comes into your world or not. I'm just like, it's out of my fucking hands. So I just let the truck spin out of control. And then all of a sudden, I fucking ended up um, on the side of the road in a snowbank. And the karmic motherfucker that I was following up there, there's more to this. So pay attention basically what happened is I was like, oh, I'm just going to let it happen. Even though I saw oncoming traffic coming at me, like I was like, oh shit, I got to go. Like I'm going to end up turning around, which is what I think happened with the whole karmic situation. Maybe you're speeding in the right direction and you, then you got turned around. And then because the truck was going to like, I saw it going in the, in the wrong direction, something like that. But then it went, it was in the right direction when I was over on the side of the road, when I stopped basically. So when the truck stopped, I was still facing the right way. Basically it was just like, okay, take, take a minute. <sighs> now what the fuck do I do? And I cried my eyes out because I was fucking scared of shit. Like that scared the crap out of me. I really thought I was going to die. So I feel like this process is scaring the shit out of somebody or both of you. Cause it's like, did I lose my person? Did I take a wrong turn? What the fuck? You know? Oh shit. You know? But anyways, the karmic person that I was following up to where I was going in this real story, pulled over too, not near me, up ahead, it was like, and he was basically, he called, okay, he didn't fucking turn his ass around to come towards me, no, 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 he fucking pulled over on the side of the road and called me, it was like, are you good, do I fucking look good, no, like, I was so pissed, because I was thinking, you know, if I was up ahead, I would have turned that bitch around and I would have, like, I really would have turned the bitch around and I wouldn't have cared if cars were coming at me if it was dangerous. I would have been like, I gotta save my fucking person, you know? I gotta save myself, like, whatever. No, I didn't fucking give a shit. I'm like, you fucking piece of shit, but whatever. Anyways, he was. I got stories about that motherfucker. Let me tell you what, don't get sidetracked. Anyways, so somebody else. Actually, there was two people in this vehicle, but only one of them came out. So, <laughs> there's two people that are very similar. Um, your person is very similar to somebody else. Like, you, they invoke very similar feelings, or maybe they look alike. I don't know. There's, there was two people in the truck, and they were country boys. They were heading up, up north to go snowmobiling and shit. But I'm not saying your person's a country boy. I'm just saying, or a country girl. My male, female, doesn't matter. I'm just saying they were different than the motherfucker that wouldn't turn around and help me, you know? It's like they ran away, and, yeah, they checked in, but they weren't going to do anything for me is my point. And the, it's like your karmic isn't going to do anything. They might call you, they might contact you, they might keep luring you back, but it's for selfish reasons. It's not true because these, these guys that pulled over, they saw it happen. They pulled over before my truck even stopped, basically. It's like they were waiting for me to see what happened. Like, how bad is this going to get? Okay. 
oh, things are quiet. So now, now I can approach the truck. Like the truck stopped spinning. So now I can say something. Ah, the disconnect, the tower moment. You disconnected from their energy. In the quiet, we can talk. Okay, the truck stop, stopped spinning. <sighs> okay, so now I can go over and help you, or I can go over and say something is what I feel. So only one of the dudes got out. And I was just sitting there like, oh my God, like I can't believe this fucking happened kind of thing, you know? And I feel like some of you are feeling that way with your situation, your person. Like, I can't believe they disconnected. I can't believe I said that. I can't believe I did this. Like, I created a fucking disaster. I don't know. Somebody overreacted about something. One of you, both of you, who knows? Anyways, alcohol could have been involved in that. Not necessarily. No, maybe. Depends on what it is. You know your situation. So does your person. So the dude walks up to my to the truck and he's like it's okay just calm down you know shit happens it is what it is you know you're good you're good you got this you're good and I really wasn't that stuck it looked like I was stuck stuck but I wasn't stuck and all he he, he basically helped me he's like I got sand don't worry about it fucking went to the back of his truck took out a shovel threw down some sand and he's like he goes, here, hop in the passenger seat. Because I was like, I don't think I could do this by myself. That's exactly what I said. And I feel like someone's person or you is going to say that. Like, I'm so glad you're here to help me because I, I, I don't think I can handle this on my own. Like, I'm working through shit, but I hit that, I hit the snowbank. It's not a forever thing, but, you know, just stick with me kind of thing. So I feel like a person's going to throw the sand down. They're going to take the driver's seat and they're going to go, Okay, I'm going to pull you out. And that's what he did. Fucking threw the sand down, got me right out. Oh my gosh, there's a rainbow right here. So after the tower moment, after the storm, this person's your fucking sunshine, okay? They're your motherfucking sunshine. That's the new beginning. This person's going to pull you out of the snowbank and get you out of this fucking shit. You know, I feel like they already have started doing that, um, which is why you kind of hit the black ice and started spinning in the first place. But yeah, he he pulled it out, like he pulled got the truck out so I can go on my merry little way. And it was like the help that this person gave me, he had no expectations. You know, he wasn't like, oh, you want to come up with me? Do you, now you owe me money, now you, whatever. He was just like, you know, calm down. And he didn't let, he wouldn't leave. He didn't even fucking know me. He wouldn't leave until I <sighs> calmed down because he didn't want me to fucking crash or something. He's like, it's okay, it happens. I actually think the dude put buckets of sand in the back of the truck so it would have some weight in it because it was just like the wind scooped up and the ice, the conditions were just all right. And I just, whoosh. anyways, let that be a lesson to you. If you drive a pickup truck, put weight in the back in the winter. Anyways, so I hope you understand that story, what I'm getting at, because it's basically this fucking twin flame journey, you know, going really fast to like, slow down, slow down, slow down, shit. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Gotcha. Kind of thing. Yes. So anyways. Man, I get weird ass shit with cards now. I'm just saying. With the Ace of Cups. There's fucking mermaids on here. There's the siren. The bad one. And then there's the good one. There's the one, it's like one of them's mysterious. One of these mermaids is so alluring and they both are alluring, but one of them is, is going to fucking eat your ass and not in the fun way. <laughs> or maybe they're just a fuck boy, fuck girl. And that's all they're going to do is eat your ass. I don't know. It could be a sexual thing. Anyways, the other one's going to actually add value to your life and help you regain control of the truck. And I feel like you or your person are seeing this. It's a fucking pyramid. Well, it's a triangle. You know, I gotta learn what the fuck these... Well, that's water, obviously. It's a water card. I'm like, I gotta learn what the fuck these are. It's right in front of my fucking face. Oh, someone's trying to figure you out. You're trying to figure them out. But all the information is literally right in front of your motherfucking face, okay? Just look. Don't lose focus. Oh, that's what the karmic is saying. If you look away from me for a second, think this is going to fuck shit up kind of thing. So it's almost like this tower moment made your person look away from the karmic so they could face something. And now they're seeing you. 
or vice versa. Now they're seeing what love is. They love your ass. I'm just going to say. Some of you have a really nice ass, I'm just going to say, because I keep talking about sexy asses. So I'm going to pinch his little butt cheekies. You know what I mean? I don't know. Whatever. Maybe that's what they want to do to you. It is what it is. <sighs> I don't know. It's making me think of royalty. Like, medieval times. The goblets. The Holy Grail. Monty Python. Search for the Holy Grail. I fucking love that movie. I love Monty Python movies, too. You're the Holy Grail. That that fucking dude is looking for. I just thought of the part of the movie. It's my favorite fucking part. With the fucking night, the dark night. Or ba <laughs> I was talking about the dark night. Batman, you know, kind of being a fucking... He seems evil, but he's not. I don't know. I kind of feel like it might be flip-flop with that now. But anyways, this this night is in the woods. Like, wouldn't let this motherfucker pass. The karmic won't let this motherfucker pass. Wait a minute. Is that how it is? I don't know, put it where it fits. But I kind of feel like that's what it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Or no, it's your person or you won't let the karmic pass. No, it's the karmic stopping the dude looking for the holy grail. Anyways, what the fuck? Shut up. Stop confusing yourself. So, this MF is going through this fucking journey, you know. Oh, it's fake fucking horse. Which I had horse analogies too. <laughs> and he's, he meets up with this stupid karmic knight. And they, they, they're battling it out. So it could be like baby mama, baby daddy, fucking boyfriend, girlfriend. I don't know. Going to something they shouldn't be. So they're in the middle of something. And of course, you know, it cuts the, the person's arm off. Or maybe this is your person doing this to your karmic like... Phew. And then he's bleeding out. And he's got, he's still got his other arm. And he's like, you know, come at me, kind of thing. And then cut off the other fucking arm. And then he's got no arms. And he's got no arms and legs. He cuts him, keeps cutting this person down. Basically, he's like, like, come here, I'll bite you, kind of thing. Like, like I ain't going to give up. So it's like, no matter how much you beat this person's karmic down or your karmic down, like, push them away. They're still trying. It's like, okay, I'm kind of stuck here because I got no arms and motherfucking legs now. Or maybe that's what's happening to your person and they feel stuck. But they're still snappy. I don't know. I don't know who the fuck the knight is, but I kind of, I have like two things going on. And with twins, it's very, it's flowing. So I feel like you both are dealing with certain situations. And I feel like your karma's kind of cut you down or cut them down. And it made them or you feel stuck for a while, but you're freeing yourself because I feel like the dude is the coconuts that's fucking searching for the Holy Grail. Um, is finally fighting back. And it's like, oh, I have no arms and legs. I can't take action anymore, but I can fucking talk. So someone's still talking in someone's head, basically, but there, I feel, because he, he rides away. He's like, whatever, shut your fucking mouth. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm going to go find my fucking holy grail. I'm going to go on this mission. I fought in your general direction. Anyways. <laughs> Someone really likes fucking movies, just going to say. I haven't seen that movie in forever. I love Young Frankenstein, too. Oh, Blazing Saddles. That movie fucking kills me. Yes, I know. It's got some crude humor in it, but it's good. Someone likes westerns, too, or going back to the motherfucking past, and it's not a past karmic. This is, your person is not somebody that you dated. Like, if you did, it wasn't, I don't know, like, some of you it is, but I don't know. For some reason, I feel like the karmic is an ex. I'm just going to put it that way, because you guys are all in different fucking whatevers. We all are. Um... I don't know, I just feel like something didn't get off the ground with this person. They fuck it, they probably stressed the ass out because it didn't work out or vice versa. Remember, if I say you, it could be them. Someone must be getting confused with the you, me shit or whatever. So, take it where it motherfucking fits. What are you doing? What are you thinking? What are you feeling? If that ain't you, it's them, you know? So, yeah, they're the sunshine in your cloudy fucking day. They're bringing in the rainbow. I think the rainbow's already here. And the rainbow has to do with transformation. Oh, there's a kitten there on that ball. I'm telling you, there's a fucking cat still there. But he, the cat is between 
the jester's feet. So it's like, okay, I know who you are now. Like, I, I know who the karmic is. I know who's watching me, whatever. And I feel like they're looking at... Okay, your person might have looked at you as if you were spying on them. Or whatever, vice versa. Like, you're the problem. Because the karmic was making, telling them that you are the problem. Confusing the ass. So now there's a kitten. It's not an actual cat. And it's chasing a butterfly. So I feel like with this realization, is bringing somebody back to childhood for one, which I do feel like needs to happen with the whole clearing the attic thing. There are good memories there. Um, but I feel like there's a renewed sense of hope and peace, like transformation. Don't feel the mu don't fear the reaper, you know. Sons of Anarchy is coming in my head now. Jax, oh fuck yes. Anyways, <sighs> I don't want to be Tara because she fucking dies. But you know, um. Live each day like it's your last. I'm saying tomorrow's not promised for one. But regardless of that, I don't want to freak anybody out because that's not what I'm talking about. Sons of Anarchy. He is a badass. He protects his family. He protects his crew, his gang, whatever. He's a motherfucking son. Like, you know, I got to protect my family. I got to do this. I'll do anything for all the wrong fucking people. Because, okay, this is where this is going. Because even though he has love for those people... Um, it's very loyal to them. They put him in really shitty situations. Male, female, doesn't matter. But I'm talking about Jax. So he's always getting in trouble. Shit's blowing up all around him. There's landmines everywhere. I mean, fuck's sake. Gets into the drug trade so there could be substances here, addictions, whatever. And the stupid porno place that they do. What is it called? Like, Woody's something. I don't know. Anyways, it doesn't matter. The details don't matter. Stop looking at all the details. It's the big motherfucking picture, just like I talked about with the puzzle. You gotta start somewhere. Work on the edge first. Anyways, all this bad crap happens. A bunch of people that he loves and cares about fucking dies around him. He gets hurt a lot. He even gets locked up, which means confinement, so feeling like he can't get out, get out of a situation, whatever. But he's protecting all these people, and yes, he is protecting his person, too. He protects Tara, but she gets fucking hurt a lot, too, because he drags her into this big old fucking mess because he's supporting the wrong people. If he would have just left that situation, which he fucking said, dude, dude. Leave the situation because I love you ass. Because she's a fucking doctor and shit. Like, you know, she's doing really well for herself. She's an intelligent woman. But she's just like, I, I just always come back to you. I fucking love your ass kind of thing. So it's the polar opposites. The light and the fucking dark. There's the yin and the yang. Whatever. Yin and yang, not yin. Maybe someone says it that way. Anyways. um, So he's the dark side. She's the light side. And she's like trying to bring him into the fucking light, basically. And he goes so far because he has love for her. He fucking loves her. And he, like I said, he does protect her. But it's almost like he's always fucking a, a what is it? A day late, dollar short. You know, it's like he takes forever to get there to help her. So he's never actually protecting her. He's cleaning up a mess every motherfucking time, basically. And then before you know it, the disaster he makes, fucking she dies. She gets murdered and shit, you know. And then he's like, fuck. She's gone. I love her so much. It's too late to go back. I see the water seeping through the cracks. I don't know. I listen to the song. It's kind of sad, but I cried my eyes out when that happened. I was like, this is like a fucked up love story, but it's so fucking beautiful. And I can't believe she's fucking gone. Somebody's crying over you, vice versa, whatever. Probably him. Probably the masculine. It's masculine and feminine. doesn't matter. It's not gender-based. But anyways, the one who is trying to clear out problems, the one who's loyal to the wrong people, the one who should have been protecting you. <sighs> Fuck, that creep's popping in my head again. Ouch. Oh. If any of you have are fearing somebody who's watching you, like you just keep getting this gut feeling like something's coming, like something's wrong kind of feeling, especially if you know you have a stalker or some shit. Or someone's really, 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 really obsessed with you. And you just, you get this pit in your fucking stomach. It stresses you out. Or it's making you look over your shoulders. Because, like, seriously, I was walking around the house with a fucking bat last night. I was so scared. I was, like, looking around corners, like, hopefully it ain't my kids. Because I want to fucking hit one of them. I don't know what it was. It's just, just something came over me last night. Anyways, um, where was I going with that? Because I was getting stressed out. And I was like, oh, it fucking hurts. Um, 
if you're really scared, you know, just, like I said, be vigilant, okay? Because there is someone around, and especially if you know that they can get violent or physical, whoever this is, um, for some of you, I don't even, I don't think you know if they're capable of that. Maybe that's where some of the fear is, because there's such an intense thing here, so it's like, it's like, could you, would you, are you, like, you know, like, how scary is this gonna get, are you just gonna, you know, profess your undying fucking love to me, and, like, not leave me alone, causes problems, or are you gonna actually cause fucking problems, because I'm thinking about Tara, and, you know, that bitch, she got the wrong information, yeah, because Gemma, Jack's mom, had got the wrong information, and fucking killed her ass, and fucked up his day. There's a meddling mother here. It's it's a baby mama or a fucking mother. There is a... I'm going to say a fucking female. It's a stupid witch bitch. Oh my gosh. What the hell? Alright, there's someone tied to this mother figure who... I almost feel like might hurt your person or... Or you, or try to, and I don't know if it's physically or not, because even though I get physical pain, that doesn't always mean that, so don't freak the fuck out, just stay vigilant, I said there's snakes in the grass, these motherfuckers need to leave, I want to know, hold on, alright, who is this fucking snake, this creepy energy, what the hell, <sighs> someone you know, because I just looked 51 breaks down to a 6, someone your person knows too, I feel like it's a mutual thing, uncomfortable yeah they make you feel uncomfortable i fucking feel that misguided superficial envious well duh of course it's just fucking stalkers do walking away distant someone you're walking away from or that you're <sighs> oh my gosh fucking hate that card so much. I don't know why it scares me all of a sudden. There's a sellout. There's an enemy. There's a traitor. There's a fucking traitor in the midst. Someone you trust. Someone you trust is hurting your person or you, okay? This creepy motherfucker is someone you trust. It's the fly on the wall that you don't see because you see all these other fucking flies, but there's one someone you really trust there's someone that is not around you there's distance here could be physical distance between this is someone you and your person know and they do not live near you okay i'm gonna put it that way or they're creating distance because some of them do live near you i don't feel like it's somebody that you see though like face to face much some of you could be what the fuck whatever it, you'll know there's distance here. They're trying to create distance because you walked away from this person or they walked away from you. So it could be the karmic um, or a karmic. It could be another one because I saw two creepers. <sighs> yeah. It, but it's someone that you or your person trusts. I'm keeping my eyes closed. I fucking hate that card. They're a sellout. Okay. This person could be religious too. I don't know. It could be religious differences. It could be the fucking witch bitch. They're cold as ice. They're the one that's made the black ice happen. They tried to spin your ass around or your person's ass around. Okay, well we're getting the fuck out of that because it's giving me a headache. God, I really feel like I'm, I have got hit in the fucking head. I just do. Because like, that's the first thing that happened to me. When that soldier dude showed up, remember when dad was here? And dad keeps popping in and out. It's not my dad, but he's he's just kind of like checking in like, you know, you're doing, you're doing good. I don't know why the fuck he's telling me that, but he's here. So maybe he's telling you that you're doing good, that you got this. It's okay. I, you know, soldier up, whatever, whoever the fuck you are. Anyways, um, that soldier guy, when I felt the shrap metal and my head was like exploding, I'm like, oh, you were there kind of thing like... It was a fucked up feeling. I hate it when they make me feel that way. Every time I get the, before I saw him, I was like, oh, I, just, I got hit in the head. I got fucking hit in the head. What the hell? 
it hurts so bad. It's making my head ring. It's making, like, I got a headache going on. So I don't know if someone's getting punched in the head or if somebody's throwing something and it's going to hit them upside the head. It might hit your person upside the head or this information is going to smack them in the fucking head and give them a headache. That it could be a metaphor too. But if it's a physical thing, if someone's really fucking mad at you and you know that they throw shit, like they get like that, or if that's you, don't do it. I'm getting dizzy. Don't throw shit. Don't throw shit. Don't throw shit. But I feel like someone might throw shit. It, may, it could even be a person that doesn't normally throw shit. Maybe they did in the past and then they're just so mad at you. They fucking throw something that hits you in the fucking head. Someone's getting hit in the head. I don't know who the fuck you are, but you're getting hit in the head and you need to stop fucking sending me your fucking hit in the head energy because it hurts. <sighs> Maybe that's what somebody wants to do to this fucking stalker person. I don't know. Man, it's making me tired. Like, it's gonna, it might knock somebody out because I felt like I was going to pass out. I got really dizzy. Fucking hurts really bad. So, I don't know. Something like that. All right. Whew. All right, I need a drink. I could need a beer after this or something. I don't know. I haven't been drinking beer lately, but. Fucks with my stomach. So, anyways, they're your sunshine. They don't want to give up. Oh, this is what I was talking about. They're looking at. Or they are. He's got his eyes closed. But he's thinking. It's like, okay, you know. I've done all this or something. I'm guarded. Like, I've gone in this direction, that direction, this person, that person. Like, this is why I have my shield up. I don't want to give up. Should I give up? No. And then they're seeing the cup. They're seeing the holy fucking grail over here. Like, every time I close my eyes, I see your face. This is the holy grail. I can't give up yet. And they're not going to give up because we have that wand right here and it's being ignited. It's like, I know I need to take a risk. I'm going to try something new. I want to taste this wine because I have a funny feeling that it's going to feel really great. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be the best motherfucking wine I've ever had in my life. It's magical. <sighs> one of you illuminated this, but it's like one of you lit the fire, like had the spark. One of you had the spark, the sun. It's like It's almost like you see all the gas is like going around the sun and shit and then all of a sudden I see it exploding like maybe something hits it and all of a sudden it's like Phew! this little spark shoots out well it lit their wand so one of you either you or them started the fire that's a song too anyways one of you started the fire and now it's starting to burn it's almost like when you have a wet stick <laughs> It's not like when you're going camping. I'm talking to somebody who's very outdoorsy, woodsy, like cow. I was going to say cowboy, but it could be. Um, country type, you know. They're very, they're into nature and shit, shit like that. But anyways, it's like having a wet stick, but it's not, it's damp. It's not wet. You might think it is, but you're like, you know, I'm going to light this bitch anyways. So this person has a lighter and they're just like, all right, come on, motherfucker. We need heat in here. I'm fucking freezing my ass off, you know? Like, my, you're too cold. Well, they finally figure it out. They finally do it because, you know, if you hold a flame to something long enough, it will dry out so you can light it. That's what happens. Oh, I saw the house. It was all dry in the desert. Anyways, so you dried this motherfucker up, basically, so you could light the fire or vice versa. Started the fire. Anyways, whatever that song is, I can't remember. So he started the fire, and it took a minute because it's like, okay, I see it's starting. And like I said, fire dries shit out. So it's like, as somebody releases the emotions, as somebody opens up, basically, it's gonna burn down. It's gonna stop. It's gonna fucking turn into the sun. You two are the motherfucking sun together. You know, you're going to be making rainbows left and right when you come together. But it's, it's happening. There's a beginning happening here. It's a very beautiful beginning. <sighs> Some of the analogies I use are just ridiculous. All right. Well, actually, let's look into... Yeah, communication is coming in. I see the Queen of Swords as um, Libra and energy, which is balance. So balance is going to be restored. I feel like this pull away, this tower moment, whatever was necessary. But there's the truth here. 
She's been sitting here fucking waiting. She had the candle lit the whole time. It's like Trace Atkins, all the lights in the house are on. I don't know if the bitch comes home or not, but at the end, but um, at this story, he or she does. Just gonna say. Communication's coming in. It's like, oh, you've been frozen in time forever. I've been waiting for you. I'm so glad you're here, darling. What do you have to say? I know what you have to say. Maybe I don't, but I want to hear it. I don't know. Whatever. So you're sitting there like the fucking empress. Because you're very honest. You spoke your truth, and now they want to speak their truth. And I say that because we have the ace of motherfucking coins. It's like, ugh. Once you say what you need to say. Say what you gotta say. I fucking hate that song, too. Um. You guys are just gonna fall into each other and be like, fucking jeez. Why the hell did we make this so damn difficult? Like, you know? Because they do want to speak their truth. This is truth. This is clarity. This is another new beginning. We have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. We have all the fucking aces, which means you're going to have a bright, new, shiny motherfucking beginning with this person, which is all-encompassing. So you're going to have the communication, the truth, the clarity. You're going to have the financial abundance, security, and whatever in the material realm. You're going to have the emotional security and fulfillment. This cup this cup. This person's gonna fill your fucking cup up. You're the holy grail. They finally found the motherfucker. Which isn't the holy grail in the fucking sky. It's like divine. Someone might have been looking at you like you're just too, you're untouchable to me kind of thing. Like, you're a pipe dream. This is too motherfucking fantastical. You know, this this shit ain't real. It don't exist. It's only in movies and shows and shit. No, this is real. This is fucking real, man. One, It's like 101, but it's an 11. <sighs> Yeah, they're realizing how unfulfilled they've been by trying to control the motherfucking situation. So this is letting go of control. It's like, you know, things are not going to go the way that I want them to go. They're going to go the way that they need to go, which is why the tower probably came in, just going to say. So it's like, okay, missing you sucks. This is not my emotional fulfillment. Pining over someone is not what I want, you know, vice versa, whatever. So fuck it, I'm done. And then your fucking night shows up like, okay, I'm here. I'm here, baby. I heard you loud and clear. You blew my house up. I got the SOS, you know? That's what I feel. They're sad without you. They want to apologize for making you wait. They want to apologize for making you feel like a shit bag. I don't know. Did you feel like a shit bag? Were you sad? They want to work on things. All right, I'm going to get you some advice. I'm going to get the hell out of here because um, I do want to do personals today. I got shit to do. I got places to be, people to see, and I don't want... That ain't me. <laughs> this person is going to be like... I said this, too. You should shit, you should shit, you should shit. I got a place to be. Oh, and I said in part one, I have a place to be that I don't want to be. Like, I didn't really want to deal with it. I wanted to do this instead. So I kind of feel like your person has a plan. They're going to come forward. I don't know if it's going to be today, tomorrow, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's different for all of us. But I feel like your person is planning something. Because in Aries, I went like this. Like, I'm planning. And it's coming back to me. So I feel like this person could be at work. Um, you know, whatever their appointments are. Uh, it could be anything. We have a million one things we do during the day. It's responsibilities. It's something you don't really want to deal with. It could be like, oh... You know, I got to run over to my ex's house or my baby mama, baby daddy house or deal with that for the children or for whatever fucking reason. It's like, okay, I'm not staying. I'm just here. I don't want to be here. I got to do this, deal with this. I kind of feel work. I got to deal with this situation. It's like, is it closing time yet? Is it time yet? Because I got shit to do. I got someone I need to see. I got something I need to motherfucking say. <sighs> Actually, we're going to do Oracles of the Unicorns. For the ah vice. For the ah vice. Someone's scared. Someone's nervous. It's okay. Sometimes fear is a driving force. You know what I mean? All right, so let's see. What advice do we have for these wonderful people? Polarity, intuition. One of you knew this was coming. I feel like your person's actually celebration. Celebrate good times. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like 
both of you are really go with the flow. Because you listened to your intuition, went with the motherfucking flow. There you go. Free. Yeah, you fucking broke the motherfucking chain. You gave this person freedom. Or they gave you freedom. We both, whatever. Whoever was hoping, wishing, praying this would come together. I kind of feel like both of you were to an extent. But the one that was obviously wanting it, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so that makes sense. That makes sense. Learn to go with the flow and just kind of allow. And that was the change that needed to happen. Like, just allow sh shit. You know? Just allow shit. Rebirth. Fucking magic. I said there's magic in the air. You're a magical being. So is this person. I'm not reading them all. I'll see which one I need to read. But, um, we'll see what this little, little many story is. <sighs> fairy is on your side just gonna say oh this is like a rose but it's kind of burning with passion and love and romance and whatever it's like i don't know i just want to <sighs> bathe myself in it kind of thing it's like a renewed feeling i don't know why i did that that was weird anyways i kept thinking of beauty and the beast too i think i said that in a different reading but anyways it's like i told you the beast cuts it fucking close. It's like, dude, you know you love her. Just fucking say something or you're going to fucking die. Or you're going to be the damn beast forever. Well, he would have died because stupid Gaston's a dick bag. But whatever. Anyways, she loves him unconditionally because she could see through his fucking bullshit, basically. And right before the last petal falls, the spell is fucking broken. The spell is fucking broken right at the last minute. I told you this motherfucker's cutting shit close. It's like, right when you go to give up, hi, patience is a virtue. And it's because you were patient, practicing patience. Maybe it's something that you're not very good at doing or haven't been up until this point. Courage, yeah, it took a lot of fucking strength and courage for someone to be patient, just going to say. Adventure, it's taking a lot of courage and strength for this person to go on a new adventure. Because I'm looking at this like it's the northern lights and patience over here. It's like... Okay, this person, whoever you are, A, B, C, D, I don't know, the twins, A and B, soul connection, whatever. Um, one of you, the intuitive one, or the one who's more woke, woke, or whatever, woke, 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 who knows, whatever kind of woke you are, how'd you wake up today? Did you wake, did you, did you wake the fuck up today? Was this the illumination you needed? Who knows? Anyways, there's patience here. It's like, yep, I feel you. I know something's coming. So I'm just going to sit over here. I'm going to do my own thing. It's like, I don't know. I'm seeing the the horn as like an antenna. Like, I've been sending you messages. I don't think you're getting them. You know, maybe you are, maybe you aren't. I'm just, you know, whatever. It is what it is. You know, that's life kind of thing. I'm just, if you come in, you come in. I'm going to welcome in whatever. Whatever this shiny bright light is over here. Whatever this mystical feeling I have of someone coming close to me. Whoever that motherfucker is. That's who I'm going to invite in. Well, guess what? It's your person. Because they're like, oh, I got the message loud and motherfucking clear. I'm coming. You. No, 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 no. I'm your bright, shiny star. You're my bright, shiny star. Look, they're hauling ass towards the patient one. I got the courage now. <laughs> it's funny. Trust. They're trusting their intuition. They're trusting in the process. And I feel like both of you are. It's like one of you is trying to, like... It's got to go this way. It's got to go this way. It's got to go this way kind of thing. It was expectations, basically. Um, leap into the unknown. Yeah, this is the leap of faith. It's actually repeating what I said in the dream. In this fucking one. Yeah, there's your new beginning. It's the first card on there. This, that's what I was just saying. Trust in the process. Take that risk. Somebody took a fucking risk. They trusted their intuition. They trusted the process. And now... And now magic's gonna fucking happen. Woohoo! Woohoo! like a car commercial. I don't know. I keep hearing it on fucking YouTube. Oh, someone said I had too many ads in one of my videos. I'm gonna go online. I'm gonna change that because I. The fucking mid roll, I have to change it for every damn video and I don't know why. But I try to change it because I don't wanna have like 500 ads in there. That drives me batshit. I don't wanna drive anybody else batshit crazy. Yeah, money's great, but. Can't be greedy, like jeesh. Anyways, um, there's other ways to make money than fucking having five thousand ads in your damn videos. Somebody must be bitching about it. Um, I'm bitching about it too. I'll fix it. Don't worry. 
Okay. So, yeah, that's what I have for you. I'm not going to read it because I said what I needed to say, and I feel pretty good about it. Actually, what do they want to say to you? No, for some... You inspire me. <sighs> okay, fine. They're hesitant. You've been in my motherfucking dreams! I was just talking... I'm using the, the dream deck. Tarot of dreams. And this is very dreamy. You've been in my dreams. I was listening to their intuition. Thought a lot about you lately. Oh, fuck yeah, they did. Fleeting thoughts. <laughs> no other compares to you. Boom. Your words linger in my mind. Oh, they listen to everything you say. Everything you say. Um, I feel like this person could just listen to your fucking voice, even if they don't know what the fuck you're talking about. They're just like, I just, I love watching your, I love watching you. I love listening to you. Like when you guys were together or around each other or whatever, um, I feel like, I don't know. It's weird because I have this feeling like if you, you. You, have, you know who the fuck this person is, for one. They're a friend of yours, whatever. Whether you guys are talking or not, I don't know. But they were different with you. Like, even though they weren't showing emotion and shit, because for whatever reason, I feel like this person, there was eye contact. Like, even, I'm not even just talking about the first time you saw this person. When this person would talk to you, it's like they wanted, to, they were looking at you. And you know how when you're nervous, you kind of, you look at someone and you kind of look away like, yeah, I'm just going to look down. I feel like one of you did that, but the other person was just like enamored. And I don't think they, 11, 11, 13, 14, whatever, 11, 11, or 111, whatever. So fucking ones again. Anyways, they didn't realize that they couldn't stop looking at you does that make sense so it, you could feel the intensity between the two of you like you you felt their gaze and it was almost like they were hoping you would lock eyes with them and I think you have a few times but it's intense and scary when you do that so I feel like both of you got spooked to a certain degree and that's kind of why it's kind of like this for a while but what I'm getting at is this person you could just talk about nonsense and and like be a fucking ding dong and they love it i don't know something like that your words linger in my mind but anyways with that you've given them advice i feel like one of you is very spiritual but not just i think you both are spiritual but um insightful there we go that's the word i'm looking for um and I don't know, they value what you say or what you do or just how you present yourself. There's something different about you is what I keep fucking getting. You give them a glimmer of hope. I don't know, something like that. But I love you. I will be talking to you very, 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 very soon. And let's see how the fuck this turns out. Like, you know, I can't wait for the next one. Yeah, I do have personals. I got shit to do. So it's like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I got shit to do, I got shit to do. That's what this person's saying. Like I said, they might be at work like, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. But, peace.